we're recording. It's a camera massacre, I tell you. Okay, I don't know if that's the right words, but what we're looking at here is a whole bunch of camera parts. And I've stripped several cameras down, and I do have a good reason for that. I'm going to make the perfect camera, hopefully, for filming my cartoons. Let's just have a brief go over of the things I've got here. This, you may remember, is my old Sony Handycam that died on me. Don't really do much with that. Got a junked 35mm film camera, which has just been thrown out and pretty much battered up and that, but I plan to do something with that, make something out of it, you know, so it's got some kind of use again. Also, I have some spare 35mm camera lenses, so they're going to come in handy. This is the lens assembly from the handy cam. Um, which I've removed one of the lenses from. Let me just find the other lens so I can show you how this goes together. Right, try and do this in the camera. Let me get this lens in. Yeah, and there it is. Lens from the Sony Handycam. In fact, you can see right through it. I found something interesting about this zoom lens. Now I'm going to take this other, this first lens out. This is the lens that focuses the picture onto the image sensor, so we can see more into it. Now, somewhere along here, here it is. There's the thing that does the zoom. Now, if I just hold this up to the camera, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but no, it's not going to be able to see it, is it? Maybe if I hold it just a bit further away. As I move this lens up and down, you might be able to see the zoom taking effect. Let's just hold this up to the camera again so we can see through it. I just don't think this camera's going to see through it, is it? But anyway, can you see that sort of zoom as I move the lens about? You take a look at the other way, you might be able to see the lens moving. Sort of hold it this way. You can see that lens moving inside there. If I hold it further away from the camera, there we are, I can sort of see it now. Sort of zoomer. Now, originally, I w what I was going to do is I was going to take a webcam and stick the webcam on the end of this thing and use this as the lens for the webcam. But that didn't sort of that sort of just didn't work out. Now I've got a webcam here, which is which I've stripped down. This is just a circuit board and the image sensor. Let's just show you a closer up. You might be able to see that I've removed the lens. Now, I'm going to connect this to the computer and do a little experiment. Okay, we're over at my computer screen. I'm just going to connect this little guy up to the thing. The USB. You might notice I've put tape all around it so I don't short anything out. Okay, we should see a picture on the screen in a minute. Well, not actually a picture, but because there's no lens to focus the light, all we're going to see is sort of like white on screen as you can see there, but anyway, time for a little ingenuity. Now I'll take this old 35mm camera here, and you can see that I've taped the mirror so it doesn't flop down when I'm using this in the way I'm going to use it. Now I'll just screw on the lens, this is the wide angle lens. That's a pity about this camera, because it was a really nice camera, but, well, from what I can tell. And I'm going to touch the webcam here. For some reason the lens has gone into a small iris. Let's just adjust that. There we go. So I can adjust the iris size. Now if I put the webcam there, 
another sort of digital camera made from a webcam and an old 35mm camera now let's just have a look at the screen on the computer I should be able to focus this with the lens. So let's just see what I can pick up. Let's see if we can get anything. Oh, there we are. Something. We're seeing something. I haven't a clue what I'm actually looking at. Let me just move the camera around, see what we can see. Now it's going completely blurry again. Okay, let's see if I can just focus this. Ah, oh, there we are. I can see something now. Looks like part of my computer. That seems like a pretty promising thing. It seems to seem to be able to get something. Now if we could just get that focused a little better. There we go, that's about the best I'm gonna get it with this particular image sensor. So you can see that's sort of working. Now I'm gonna hold this above a drawing I have and see if we can see it on thing. Okay, let's just get it focus for this particular distance okay that's gonna need some work yeah. now it did look kind of washed out and really pale that's because I haven't got an infrared filter on there however I did salvage an infrared filter out of one of the other cameras this may just look like an ordinary piece of glass, but it is in fact an infrared filter, and I'm going to prove that to you now. Go TV remote, and point that at the camera and press one of the buttons. You might be able to see the light flashing when I put this piece of glass in front of the thing. See, it does not look like it's flashing as brightly now. And when I pull it away, there you go. So, with all that in mind, it's now time to make my dream webcam. I would use the Cool Dude Clems Electronic Workshop Bench, but... Well, you can see I'm still doing my other thing on there, so... My bed will have to do for now. This will be my optical workshop. Now, here's another webcam that I got. As you can see, in pieces. This one has a 1.3 megapixel sensor on it, so it should give a good, clear picture. And I have tested this camera, and it does work, and it has got a good picture on it, so I'm going to use this as the actual image sensor. Now, first thing to do, I'll have to remove the microphone. And I'm going to keep this, so if I ever want to put the thing back together, I've got it right there. And this is going to go into that camera like that. So this lens will need to be removed, and I'm not going to remove that right away because I don't want any dust on the CCD at the moment. First thing I've got to do before I do any of that is wrap this in tape so it doesn't short out. There we go, I've got one side wrapped in tape. Now let's just see how that fits in. Yeah, very good. So I just got to secure that in somehow. And we'll see how it works. It's time to perform a microsurgery on the camera. First thing I'm going to do is just clean the infrared filter. I'm just going to do that with a cotton swab. And there we go. Just removing the fingerprints off it. Now Remove the lens. Keep that safe. And see if the infrared filter will go in there. And no, it won't. It's not going to go in there. It's going to have to be attached in some other way. And I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do. It'll have to go on the end like that somehow. Okay, well I couldn't get that infrared filter on. But I've attached the camera module to the camera. With good old fashioned tape for now. If you can take a closer look at it. You can see the, you might be able to see the actual lens in the 
front there in front of the actual camera CCD. And for some reason the viewfinder seems to be glowing, even though there is nothing going into it, but anyway. Put some black cloth on the back so light doesn't get in. And take this experiment for a test drive. Okay, we'll see how well this thing actually works. Just load up my ULead Video Studio, which is one of the programs I use for making my videos. Right, I'll just go to capture. I should have connected it up first, never mind. That's probably going to connect up to the other camera, actually, isn't it? Well, maybe not, right. Okay, that's plugged in. Now, capture video. I don't know which camera it's going to use. Or if it's going to work at all. Right, well, huh, we've got something. Now, okay, I'm moving the little webcam. That's not doing anything. So pick up this big brute and see what we got. There we go, this thing. Oh, yes, we definitely got something. Okay, let's see if I can get anything by turning the focus knob. Okay, what about the other way? Something's coming in. Oh, we've got something. Just about. Yep. It seems to be working, but everything is upside down. See a can of Dr. Pepper. Hmm. <clears throat> well, it would appear as if I put the camera module in upside down, would you believe it? But anyway, I thought to finish off with, we'd see directly from this camera that I'm making, which I'm holding upside down, because the bottom is exposed and letting light in. To see if we can get my bed. Okay, I can get part of the wall there. Oh, there's my Sky Plus box. TV upside down. There's the clock again. Trying to focus on this thing. It was a big, big reel of tape. Even with the wide angle lens, this seems to take very, very big pictures. Not sure if you're going to be able to see my face on this thing. You sort of see me. Let's just get this camera focused better. Yeah, there's me. My hair. With a stupid earpiece. With a microphone on it. Let's see if we can see the microphone itself. There it is. Try to focus on it. Ah, oh, well. See if we can see the computer screen. Ah, oh, this is the computer screen. You can see that. Yep, it can see the computer screen pretty good. Let's just try to turn this the right way around so you can see it. And... Ah, oh, there we go. Now we can see the computer. Oh, I think this has got a case of jello vision. Well, that's bad. There's some stuff up there. Anyway, I'm going to iris out. No, oh, I can't seem to adjust the iris on this thing now. Uh, maybe if I put it onto M instead of A, and then adjust it. Yep, I can even adjust the exposure. There we have full iris, little iris. Anyway, that's it. Until next time, goodbye.